Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to manage your charts and specifically open up multiple Forex instruments on your charts in the Oanda web-based Forex trading platform. So to begin, I would like to mention that if you would like to open up multiple charts at a time or you're considering using multiple monitors, I would probably suggest to go with the Oanda desktop-based platform. It's essentially the same thing but at the end of the day, it is a downloadable client and you'll be able to open up multiple charts and extend them across multiple windows. Now, a Wanda web based version is great. It provides a great online solution for those traders who may not have the computing power to download a desktop based platform or for those traders who are constantly on the go. This provides a great alternative and it's definitely usable. So just because you can't open up multiple charts at a time per se or use them on different windows don't allow that to limit you so first off let me show you how to change a forex instrument you can do this at any time by going to the top left here as you can see we currently have the us dollar versus the canadian dollar if you want you can manually type in your forex instrument or you can search through the database here and find exactly what you're looking for so here we have the aussie dollar versus the us and as you can see by entering in and clicking your enter button on your keyboard, after you've typed it in and selected, it will automatically change your chart here. Now, as you can see, there's a ton of different indicators and drawing tools you can utilize. But at the same time, you'll notice that if you wanted to open up a different version of this chart by clicking on add component, there's no available section for charting. So you are limited to this section here. Now, at first glance, this may seem to be a problem, but it's actually there's a great solution. If you actually go to compare or add symbol, either one will essentially work. For now, I suggest we'll start with compare. So if we do type in the euro, for example, search for the euro, euro US dollar, as you can see, it entirely overlays it. So this is actually great if you do need to compare two graphs or two different instruments that may have an influence one on one another, the compare section or the add symbol section eight actually might be a bit better for this and i'll show you why but the great thing about this is if you come down to show objects the show objects tree you'll see each different forex instrument here and you'll notice there's a little icon here it looks like an eyeball it says show or hide if you left click this as you can see you can actually disable anything on your chart and we can do so for that aussie um US, us dollar contract as well so as you can see, you can actually have multiple instruments lined up here. And whenever you need to view one, if you intend to trade on different instruments or whatever the case may be, at any time, you can just simply come here and show or hide the market you want to see. And it's as simple as that. You also have the compare section as well, um, the add symbol section, excuse me. So this essentially works. It's kind of the same thing, a little different. So as you can see, we'll search for another contract here. And in this time with the add symbol section, as you can see, it puts it into its entirely own section. So again, how I kind of mentioned, if you need to compare two instruments or you just want to look at them side by side, you can even use the same instrument. Just click on the compare section, compare add symbol, select the add symbol tab, and then enter that symbol into there. And as you can see, you'll now have two sections. If you need to, you can increase or decrease the size of your section as needed. And you can essentially squeeze out that first section there. And if you left click it, you left click the minus button, you barely see it. If it's just another alternative for you. As you may have saw within this compare section here, you can actually click the overlay the main chart. So if we do that, As you can see, this is pretty comparable to the compare field there. So just to show you, if we wanted to, we can go back in the objects tree. We can disable that, or we could disable this. It will keep that section there, so keep that in mind, this divider here. If you want, you can just simply disable that as well. It's always an option. So there's, as you can see, a ton of great options here when using charts. Like I, like I said originally, you do have the option of changing the main chart at any time, but unfortunately that will, it will remove progress. It will keep all your drawing tools originally where they were, but it will replace that instrument. So my suggestion is 
delete everything if you haven't already, go to compare, click add symbol, uncheck the overlay main chart, and then add symbols as you need. Whenever you want to switch something over, just simply come to that objects tree window and click that view or hide. That will allow you to swap back and forth between instruments on the fly. You don't really have to worry about having multiple charts open or multiple instances. This will be, take care of everything right within one submenu. And again, if you do need to compare it to objects or instruments, then you can use the add symbol and put that in there to make it in its own section. But that just about wraps it up. Just a real quick way to show you how to manage charts and how to open up multiple instruments on one chart. If you have any questions, post them down in the comment below. If you'd like to, feel free to subscribe for additional content. And if you have any questions or want to check out what other traders are saying about Oanda or other platforms we offer, head to our community forum down in the description below. You'll also see a link for that there. Once again, thanks for watching and we hope you found this helpful.